I'm always delighted to be with Solomon News. This has been such a leader in the conservative movement and the Republican Party. Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for June 9th, 2023. Sessions introduces innovative health care reform legislation, H.R. 3129. Texas Congressman Pete Sessions introduced H.R. 3129, the Health Care Fairness for All Act. This legislation would create a new option for Americans to obtain health care coverage via a health insurance tax credit that is portable, fair, and available to all Americans. Regarding the bill, Congressman Sessions said, quote, Our current health care system puts countless American families and individuals in no-win circumstances, forcing high costs and little choice. The Health Care Fairness for All Act will empower Americans to make effective decisions for themselves and their families while incentivizing private markets to be more innovative and competitive. Our country should have a health care system that reflects its founding principles of freedom and opportunity. The bill would also reduce health care costs, promote price transparency and competition, and would allow all Americans to save and pay for health care with a tax-advantaged Roth Health Savings Account, or HSA. We would encourage you to find out more by clicking on the link in the description below. The Hill reports, Poll shows 80% of older voters concerned prescription drug reform will hurt drug innovation. A poll commissioned by the advocacy group American Commitment showed that 80% of older voters fear the prescription drug reforms included in President Biden's landmark Inflation Reduction Act will negatively impact drug innovation, while 14% of those voters think it will lower their drug costs. The poll also found that 85% of the seniors surveyed expressed concern that more than half of AARP's operating revenue comes from royalties and much of it from United Healthcare. Regarding the poll, Phil Kirpin, the president of American Commitment, said, quote, The total disconnect between the priorities of AARP and seniors shows that AARP advocates on behalf of its corporate partners and its own bottom line, period. The Committee to Unleash Prosperity commented on the poll in an email newsletter saying, quote, In other words, AARP serves as a big money bridge between United Health and the Democratic Party. If you're a member of AARP, you might want to consider switching to a conservative alternative such as AMAC or the 60 Plus Association. And finally, townhall.com reports, Utah Representative Chris Stewart officially announces resignation from Congress. In a letter to Governor Spencer Cox on Wednesday, Stewart said he has decided to resign from his position beginning on September the 15th. The Republican cited his wife's ongoing health issues as why he is resigning. Stewart said that serving in Congress has been one of the great honors of his life. The departure will leave an open Republican seat on the House Appropriations and Intelligence Committees, reducing the GOP majority to just four seats. However, it is not expected to affect the House's GOP majority. The district already has a majority Republican reputation, with Stewart defeating a Democratic challenger by over 30 percentage points in 2022. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for June 9th, 2023. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.